Welcome back to Cursed Mining and today it's building time again. This video comes in between some more ASIC and cooling content because I need what we will be building today. That is the basis for a GPU mining rig up to the point where you would just add your cards and software. Part 2 where we talk about cards and finish everything up will follow up soon. But let's move on to the basis. We'll go over all the parts and discuss different options. Let's start with the hard piece. As motherboard I got the H110 Pro PTC Plus from ASRock and if you've been following the channel you know that I currently have two of them. So I'll free the one from its CPU and cooler and will clean both with contact cleaner. In terms of motherboards it is simply a beast. Slots for 13 GPUs which I won't need but it's always expandable. No CPU mining hybrid like with the other rig today. We'll just use a G4400, the standard mining controller CPU for rigs. Basically anything can power your rig if you're using older motherboards or old gaming chips can also still mine on the side. But we had a video on this already. Also there have been generations of mining boards so if you only want to go for 6 or 8 GPUs there are cheap solutions out there. If cleaning your chips and tech with contact cleaner and alcohol never forget to wait long enough that everything has dried off so on with this cpu and i'm adding another cooler i still had lying around a german oem maker wanted to cool an i7 7700k with that so it will be plenty for the g4400 please mind that the stock intel cooler is more than enough if you're not necessarily mining with your cpu also ram wise you are set with 4 gigabyte of ram with most kind of rig and you don't have to care about hertz or timings with those i've a second stick of the Corsair RAM lying around which is in my first AMD rig because I wanted to upgrade to 8GB because of Vega back then and another stick of HyperX which came thanks to Steven in our discord so we'll use his stick to continue. Now we got our motherboard, RAM and CPU. Now you could boot and test from here with your operating system of choice and it would also be wise to test with one or two cards before setting everything up but we will continue from here. In terms of frames or cases I like both the open air style way you saw on the channel before as well as the boxed rack style server solution you've also already seen here with the Octominer. Because the new build will be in my office over the winter time I decided also to go for a cat proof box solution you've seen in the last farm update. Some protection from dust and cat hair as well as easier to direct the airflow. The case I got here was an ebay find so absolute luck. I got no matching fans for the build yet so if any company is seeing this video and wants to sponsor the fans for the build we got a business mail on the channel but otherwise Otherwise I'll utilize fans I still got lying around later, but no need for now. So the motherboard is secured in and ready to build upon. I tried to hide the necessary cables like power button, front IO as best as I can. And now let's move on. Power wise you have a multitude of possibilities. Either go the classical ATX power supply route you'd have in your personal computer or you go for server power supplies. You know I love the latter ones, HP server PSUs with breakout boards. And here you can match your cables according to your wishes. And you are a bit more independent. But you need gadgets like a Pico power supply to be able to power your motherboard with 24 pins. I already used this style on the AMD rig as well as with the Octominer. So this time we will go the ATX route. If going for ATX you have to keep your risers as well as your cards in mind. How many do you want to power? The very first video on this channel was a warning not to use SATA or SATA adapters for powering risers and I still hold this belief strong and I advise against them because of power limitations and possible fire hazards. So try to power your risers from 6-pin or Molex and ideally not more than 2 per lane. We'll symbolically use this Corsair H1000i to continue building but regarding PSUs we'll specify more for this build in part 2. What I want to say here is that I always try to go for platinum rated PSUs. Then your risers are left and also here there are multitudes of different versions out there. I've made the best experiences with version 8 and above because they simply give you more options. The one we got here also so it offers 6 pin or Molex, perfect. So besides the cards themselves, you are basically done. What is missing is your operating system. If you're not planning to use an USB stick based mining distribution, it would be also an efficient idea to use the M.2 slot if you have any lying around. I will probably be using HiveOS, so I only need an 8GB USB stick. But the option to add an SSD is still here at any point. So folks, that's already it. We prepared a mining rig up to the point where you would just add your cards and start configuring. This I want to put in a separate video. 
I wanted to have a clean video for the basic hardware side only. Otherwise, this kind of videos just gets on for too long and I like things neat and also findable for you. And I know it's only clean for now. It will get dirty in part two with cabling and setting everything up. So this is coming up as well as generally some more GPU content. Thank you very much for tuning in again. Keep your eyes open for part two when the cards move in. Spoiler alert, they are already here and being tested. But enough for today. Thanks again. Please subscribe if you haven't done so for weekly crypto and tech content. Happy mining to all of you and bye.